Jadron on here. What's going on, guys? That's the last spot we're digging here. Um, where my book bag is. I've dug that before. If you come over here, though, I see growth, decent growth on these rocks. So I might work this area just a little bit and see if we can't find anything. Before we get to that, just to show you guys, if you've been digging a spot and you've walked away from it, chances are you can find stuff just laying around. There's one right there. And occasionally you'll find a really nice one, um, all types of stuff in there that just slip past you. All right, so this piece with the crystal on it, we're working around it. We are finding a little bit of crystal content on the rocks, nothing crazy, but let's see, where is it? Where my finger is, bam. That's what I mean about checking where you were digging last, because that is a nice piece. So if you can see that rock, I cleaned down the seam. I just popped that huge chunk off, just to show you here. We found some peanut butter, and there is a little bit of crystal formation on there. Nothing amazing. I've only pulled out one decent one from here. But if we could remove this section, maybe we could get into it. Maybe it runs under the rock. You can see where those white strikes are. I've just removed these rocks from there. And focus. Let's see. Nothing really impressive on them. A little bit of crystal formation, but nothing crazy. Um, I'm going to go up the seam a little bit more. Then I think I'm actually going to work up the logo this morning. So we were down here. We were working in here. We've moved up. I'm going to remove this entire rock. Um, you can see there's a little bit of crystal growth on it. And next to it, there's a little bit, very little growing on there. Um, but down here, the crystals start to get more defined. So I'm thinking, maybe move this, maybe we'll find something under there. So this is that large rock we just pulled out of that shadow spot. You can see all on underneath, little itty bitty crystal formation. Couple laugh worthy pieces here. <laughs> and that just came out of the seam. Let's see, right in here. And if you look in it, see a little bit of crystal formation in there it'd be nice if it opened up to bigger stuff so we just broke this off this part was in here and that piece just came off of here we'll try to focus in there so you can see but if you can see that orange seam going up you can probably see a couple smaller crystals in there um this doesn't seem like it's opening up we're gonna work a little bit more and then we're gonna move on uh, we do have crystal growth growing in here it's only a matter of time before i should hit something all right so i've definitely found peanut butter you should be able to see those facets shining in there we'll try to focus right there move the camera around a little bit you can see them shining uh, and then we'll go ahead and zoom out so i'm thinking if i remove this i remove more of this the pocket might be under there little mini cluster here it's tough because i'm blowing this rock apart to try to get underneath here where you can see crystal formation and this vein actually might go straight down this way which is going to make it really difficult to get at this is probably the nicest crystal formation that i've seen thus far um, that came right up out of there kind of really trying to work this area and clearly i'm in a good area um, you don't see that type of crystal formation if you're in the wrong area did i tell you or did i tell you that nice facet there, you can see my fingernail shining off it. There's a couple more in here as well. I think this might actually open up. So again, that just goes to show what I've said in other videos. When you're removing rocks, inspect them because that rock that I just showed you down there with the healthy crystal growth came from right here. So I started digging over here and we definitely found something. So this was that piece that I showed you in there. Um, it was probably one of the top facets that's shining. Uh, the termination that you were able to see. Hopefully more like that come out of it. So we found a couple more pieces, extremely shallow um, seam. I actually, you can see these white marks are me blowing apart the rock, but you can kind of follow it down, kind of like where I said. Some days you win, some days you lose. I don't like losing. So we've left this area down here. We've came up into here and we're starting to get into a little crystal content. I like to get into a lot of crystal content. That's the whole reason why I come out to dig. Pulled out a few small ones, just yanked this out. Hopefully underneath it, we actually get some substantial size. Nothing of substantial size yet, but hopefully you can see uh, all the crystal content in there. They're small, they're really small. 
nothing to brag about. It's just hit or miss today, and we've been doing a lot of missing. Hopefully, this is uh, finally our hit. Just to show y'all, y'all should be able to see next to my pointer finger that's moving. Crystal there. There's crystals all in here. It's a nice facet right there that's shining. Uh, so I think we're getting close. I hope we're getting close. This is uh, this is what it could take though. A lot of the big YouTubers will just show you going out finding crystals. Yeah, I found tons of crystals. Sometimes it takes a little while. These two just came out of that clump. A lot of other smaller stuff did too, but I'm not keeping super small stuff. Give you an idea of what we're working with here. You can see strong facet here. If I put my hand over it, it kind of goes. And there's a bunch of other crystal in there. High crystal content in the area we're at now. Um, not a lot of super defined stuff, but maybe this will be a decent one. So here's that piece that was in there. You can see it shining. It's attached to this rock. I don't know that I'm going to keep it. Um, nice facets on it. Check that out. That is bright. See the color on the inside? That is nice. Moving a lot of dirt today. It's probably the biggest piece that I think we got out. We do have a bunch of stuff over here that I'm piling up. And what I'm doing, I'm just moving a lot of dirt. Just figures almost every time, like I'm running out of time here. Um, now we're starting to find some stuff. Another decent one. Be the first one that I yank out, which is Pretty much have it loose. Nice piece. Very nice cluster. Definitely is coming home with me. Go ahead and yank another one. That's right here. Nice one. Have a look at all the crystals on this. And I do believe this is just a dirt mound full of crystals. Super nice oddball. Has like a little twin on it. The back is not perfect, but I absolutely love it. So we had started the video here, and then all this loose rubble, I moved and dug out that entire area. That's where we started to find some stuff. Over there was an area that we hit before, which I dug a little bit and had no success. All right, guys, really quickly, this is what we got. So there's a couple interesting pieces. This piece right here is a nice double terminated, almost scepter, almost triple terminated because there is a small piece coming off that top there. Um, let's see, we got a decent cluster here. Little focus, there we go. Decent cluster, lots of points on it. We got a smaller cluster over here. Nice points on it. And we got a lot of small stuff. We have uh, a couple decent sized pieces. But this is the general method I always use uh, as far as trying to find crystals. And as you can see, today was okay. We've had better days. Like, I mean, this is what I like to go out for. Stuff like this. Um, stuff like this is awesome. I love that size. And then other days, we get clusters. Tons of clusters. Like, where's this one? This one is awesome. This wasn't from today. I'm just showing you stuff. But all of this stuff has been acquired the same method as today. Some days you'll go big. Other days you'll be filled with clusters, and then other days you'll just bring a little bit home. Alright guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down below.